All right, doctor, we were talking about osteoporosis. I want to switch gears now to arthritis, and this is alarming. It's a disease that affects an estimated 52.2 or 52.5, let me correct myself, million adults in the United States. Wow. Yeah, and that's that, a huge number. Yeah, absolutely, and that number may actually be underestimated. Really, uh, and may not account for a lot of people that have the disease and are, are really not symptomatic. Uh, a lot about this disease that we still don't understand, unfortunately, and is of course you know the subject of, of ongoing research. But not everyone that has arthritis or that has osteoarthritis develops symptoms, which is which is quite interesting and fascinating actually. Uh, but it's a disease that affects millions and millions worldwide, and of course you know it represents a significant burden not only for uh, for the health of, of, of the patients we treat, but also for for the for the healthcare system in, in terms of spending. Now we all obviously, you know, have heard about arthritis. We know about it, but I'd like you to define it for me. What is it? So arthritis affects the cartilage in the joints. It's a disease that primarily and predominantly affects the covering of the bone. The cartilage is uh, kind of like the helmet to the bone. Is the way I like to describe it. It's a it's a very smooth surface, but it's also tough. Perhaps not as tough as bone, but it is hard. And it, and it, its its job is to dissipate friction and pressure inside the joint. So when arthritis occurs that cartilage breaks down and degenerates. So that, has, that starts exposing the bone under it and in, in many cases that results in an inflammatory response inside the joint. So, so the model that we've seen perhaps traditionally of arthritis representing just good old wear and tear may just be oversimplistic because there's definitely a very important inflammatory component in that joint and more than one mechanism for the development of the pain.